Our quest to build the lightest cardboard chair began with some online searches using various combinations of the terms cardboard, chair, and simple. From the thousands of results, we observed repeated designs and consistencies within these chairs, which gave us a pretty good idea of where to start. Next, we each brainstormed as many ideas as we could, sketching them out and labeling what we liked about each possible design. Many of our initial sketches focused on the aesthetics of the chair, but we progressively worked on more functional designs without losing the visual appeal. We then built a few small-scale prototypes of chair designs that we felt encapsulated all five of our design constraints. These design constraints helped us to decide on winning designs, which moved on to the testing phase. We decided to seek out a cardboard buzz, someone who was more familiar with the properties of cardboard than us. We actually found two individuals. However, both declined video recording due to company policies, but we gave them the models anyway and asked their opinions. The first buzz was from a popular shipping company, and the second was a manager at a bulk food store that deals with cardboard products and packaging all the time. Both individuals looked at the three-legged model and thought that it looked plenty sturdy. The first joked about the model, asking if a real person was supposed to use the tiny chair. The second supervisor even thought we should add a cushion to it. After deciding on a basic model with four legs, a lattice seat, and a simple backrest, we tried to build a full-size model. Our first two models held up to an initial test but were not very durable, so we came up with a third and final model. It utilized three legs in combination with the durability of triangles. We implemented the design in real-world scenarios by asking fellow students to comment on the chair's design features. After refining some of the details by making it look cleaner and removing any unnecessary pieces, we tested it again. Not only did the chair hold over 200 pounds, it did so comfortably.